Hello everyone. So today I am going to teach you about convolutional encoder. Hope the font is clear. So uh, now I have a picture of a convolutional encoder here. It has two shift registers, this one and th this one. The input is fed from this side, and here we, here we have two modulo two adders, and then then the number of adders the number of modulo 2 adders is equals to n and the code rate code rate of this encoder is 1 by n so now i'm going to teach you about how when a message is fed in this encoder what the output will be from here we can see that whatever be the uh, input message or the length of the input message the code word of the output of the output message we each have two bit since for one input from this side the system will have two bit output okay so uh, let's take an example for example okay before before taking an example let me write a small theory about how the encoding is done the if there are two errors in this diagram or in this encoder then this encoder is characterized by two generator polynomials one is for one adder okay so let message which is fed from this side b message is written in this format m1 m2 comma dot 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 where m1 the bit m m naught is fed at first and if this is called x i one uh, this output is called x i two then according to a formula we have x i one equals to summation l equals to zero to capital m g l one m i minus l so this l is over here i minus l where i tends from 0 1 2 and so on and where the important thing over here is m i minus l equals to 0 if L is greater than I okay now this output is for this uh, upper output sequence and for the lower output sequence we'll have x i 2 is equals to summation L equals to 0 to M G L 2 M I minus L now the other thing is same and the output the total output will be of this form x i will be equals to x 0 1 x 0 2 and again x 1 1 x 1 2 dot 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 okay this is just a theory part theory part to make it clear uh, let's do an example the example let's take this 
diagram we have for the upper adder part i have g01 comma g11 comma g21 is equals to 1 comma 1 comma 1 the first one corresponds to this point second one this point and the third one is this point and if all the three points are connected to the adder we write 1 1 1 and for the bottom adder we have g0 2 comma g1 2 comma g2 2 equals to 1 for this since it's not connected over here it's called 0 1 that is 1 comma 0 comma 1 and let's take a message m0 comma m1 comma m2 comma m3 comma m4 is equals to 1 0 0 1 1 okay now this is the message whose length is 1 2 3 4 5, 5 bit now I am going to generate the output for this so for the for this part for the top output sequence that is xi1 I have so using using this formula I have xi1 is equals to m summation l equals to this keeping i equals to 0 over there i get x01 is equals to okay x01 equals to g01 m0 plus here first l is 0 1 is 1 always and i is 0 over here and 0 minus 0 is 0 okay let's take another term that is g n increases to 1 and this is 1 always m i is almost i is 0 that is 0 minus l is almost l is 1 now i will return here where m i minus l equals to 0 if l is greater than i in this ca case l is greater than i so this part is 0 so the uh, so this part is cancelled and no other part will be remaining and all remaining part is g0 1 m0 okay and this is g0 1 is how much 1 into m0 is 1 1 1 is this is just a binary this is draw addition 1 to 1 is almost 1 similarly I have another thing for i equals to 1 let's do it first x1 1 equals to g 0 1 m i is almost i is 1 minus 0 is 1 m1 plus g11 one, one, m0 other part will be 0 so for this we will get g01 is 1 into m1 is 0 plus g11 one, one is almost g11 one, one is 1 into m0 is 1 1 to 0 is 0 one, so 0 plus 1 equals to 1 Okay, so another is for i equals to 2 x 2 1 equals to um, we get g 0 1 m 2 plus g 1 1 m 1 plus g 2 1 m 0 equals to 1 into 0 plus 1 into 0 plus 1 1 into 1 
is equals to 1 because this is 0 and this is 0 the remaining is only 1 over here for i is equals to 3 x3 1 is equals to g0 1 m3 plus g11 m2 plus g21 m1 is equals to 1 into 1 plus 1 into 0 plus g21 is almost g21 is 1 into m1 is 0 so this is 0 this is 0 we get 1 similarly for i is equals to 4 x4 1 is equals to 1 is equals to so we have g01 into m4 plus g11 m3 plus g21 m2 is equals to this is 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 plus 1 into 0 this is 1 into 1 is 1 plus 1 into 1 is almost 1 into 1 is 1 again this is 0 now now th since this is jor addition the addition is not simple binary addition it is a jor addition jor addition means in addition if there are even number of even numbers of one one sum is equals to zero and sum of odd number of one equals to one now since there are two one this is even number of one sum is equal to zero zero similarly for i equals to five i think my video is being too long i won't be showing you about x two part for i equals to five we get g11 into m4 plus g21 m3 this is 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 is against 1 plus 1 1 plus 1 is even number 1 so this is equal to 0 for i equals to 6 we get sorry x5 1 x6 1 is equals to g2 1 m4 is equals to 1 into 1 equals to 1 no. for i equals to 7 we get all 0 so we can neglect it hence the output the out from the from this upper branch from this upper branch will be as you can see this is 1 1 1 1 0 0 1 output from upper branch equals to 1 one 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 zero zero one similarly we can do it for the lower branch and the formula will be x2 i cos dot dot and x again x1 2 equals to dot 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 similarly we do it up to x6 2 equals to dot 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 and since because of lack of time I'm not showing you have this and for output for this one is using the method I have shown you above the output will be equals to 1 0 1 2 3 4 5 now you can see here this output is 1 2 3 4 7 7 bits and this also has 7 bit now we have to combine this one we combine this and this as I have shown you over here x0 x x0 1 x0 2 let's I will combine this x0 y, x with x0 1 x0 1 is here I combine this x0 1 and another is x0 2 over here that is equals to 1 to get the final out, final output that is x i x i using this formula okay x i is equals to x0 1 x0 2 x1 1 x1 2 
so on is equal to x0 is 1 for the output is 1 again x0 2 is 1 and x 1 2 is this much 1 1 1 1 0 1 0 1 1 1 hence now we can see that this is the final output for the system now here we have the length of the message is 5 bit the message is 5 bit long that is L equals to 5 bit okay and if let me write it over here if L is equals to 5 and the number of code uh, adder is n equals to 2 and k is number of states that is number of memory registers then the number of output will be l k plus l plus k minus 1 equals to 2 l is 5 plus k is 1 minus 1 6 equals to 14 I think I have done a slight mistake over here. L is 5. Okay, I am fine. 7. K is equals to 1. Okay, no. The value of K is not equals to 1. The value of K actually is 3. Uh, K is sorry how did I write K is always we can see here we have two memory register two shift register here and K is always always equals to number of shift register plus 1 2 plus 1 equals to 3 ok so we write 3 over here not 1 and into 7 equals to 14 we can write 1 2 3 4 5 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 14 thus the output this is the length of the length of the output code word which is equals to 14 hence this is the answer so this is for the conversion encoder i am suleiman Please subscribe to my video, like it, share it, comment it. If you think this video is helpful, my video is getting too long, so that's it for today. Keep watching my channel. Thank you.